And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doki Doki Pure Smod. This is once again your man Bob Mob, aka Doc Wildcard, saving in this case the co best girl along with Yuri Sayori. That night I have another treat. He has the same voices again. They're behind us! Can we shake them off somehow? There's too many of them. Ah! Now of all times. Help me! Alright, climb on my back. But, but, can't you carry me? How's it time to find out? I then hear the sound of a pack of dogs barking and growling loudly. After a minute or so, the barks fade into the distance. Whew. You okay? Y yeah. Wait, you're bleeding. Don't worry about me. This is nothing. Need a bandage. Let's go. Where to? My home. We can get you a bandage there as well as patch up your doll. Uh, okay. Can you trust me? Oh yeah, I guess I have. I guess I haven't. You don't even know your name, huh? My name is Bob Mob. What's yours? My name. It's Sayori. Just I suspect the entire time. Actually, yeah, I shouldn't have said Bob Mob. I should have just said Bob there because at that point. I wasn't going by that name, that title. Oh well. Voices fall silent. I hear my alarm clock going off. A month has passed since Sayori and I start dating. Every day with her, it's felt like a dream come true. We've been doing our best to keep our relationship secret, and so far, it seems like nobody's caught on to anything. If anyone does get suspicious, Sayori is always quick to play the we're so close because we're trying with her friend's card. That's nice and all. I wish I didn't have to have a relationship anymore. Sayori's depression has also been awfully quiet lately. Alright, nice. It's almost too peaceful. Do you already be hiding your pain behind your smile again? I'm so lost in the thought that I don't notice the paper airplane coming towards me that hits me right in the forehead. Who gives? I look around the classroom trying to figure out who threw it at me, but there are too many potential culprits. I slowly open the paper airplane to see an advertisement for a moonlight parade in the local park which Sarah and I often go to. What in the world is this? Take out my phone and search the name. Indeed, it seems like a legitimate event that's held once in the, during full moon. I'm pretty sure the person who threw the paper airplane wasn't aiming at me in particular, but whatever. Put the flyer, nice pun, in my pocket and wait until the lesson ends. Not sure if that was intended as a pun or not, but it sort of works out that way. This might not be such a bad idea. It could be a good way for me to see already to celebrate I haven't been together for a month.
Once the class is over, I head over to the literature club, hoping to find Sarah there. After the classroom, you see Mike in the middle of the audience, and that's with you, sitting on their seats. Sarah is nowhere to be found. Oh, hello, Bob Bob. Look around me. There's no sign of Sarah. Where's Sayori? I haven't seen her all day. Me neither. Maybe she went to the tour. Really? That's spooky. I know, right? That's spooky. Don't say such things. What? It could have happened. You know how clumsy she is. I try to set the mental image out of my head and turn to Monica, who seems unusually quiet and pretty pensive. How about you, Monica? Monica? But I didn't do anything this time. Monica! Do you know anything about Sayori? The last time I saw her was at lunch, but she looked like she was walking into the school's entrance gates. She looked unusually glum. It's just me, it's like his voice sounds strangely bigger. I think you should go see her, Bob. Just stay up, don't keep waiting too long. So that she returns to her old self and then dash out of the room and I'm back to the chance for us to carry me. I feel a strange sensation of deja vu. It's the first time something like this has ever happened to me. Call Sarah's phone number, she doesn't answer. I tried touching the door now to find the doors unlocked. Outside Sarah's room, I knock on the door. Sorry? Please answer me. I really didn't know why I have to enter a room like this. Is it kind of a breach of privacy? She really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door where I find her. Is it Sayori? She's held in the corner by her bed, her arms wrapped around her legs. Now, what's up with this? She's completely motionless with the exception of the occasional sob that, sob that shakes her entire body. Sayori! What happened? Stop me typing on my phone. Stop me. I read her messages. What? They then said such horrible things. After that, I tried to act like if nothing happened. I managed to keep my cool even when I spoke to. Monica, but, but... Stop buries her face much. Oh, no. I don't 
don't know what I'm supposed to do. They even read. told me to with you since I'm only a burden and if I don't circle her back to your piece and pizza with everything go right now find a way to get there As long as I'm depressed, you won't leave. What? On my way home, I noticed a stray dog in my garden. I was trying to pull something out of a bush. She moves over from the side, drags up a long rope. Just for your way of showing sympathy for me. Keep you from any moment. So sad and frustrated. At the same time, pleading. Just looking at me with a little frightened, confused expression. It's your honesty, Bob. I save her. While it was true that I originally wanted to help her, it developed into something much more personal over time. Now I've only got one shot. But she's clutching the rope. Another my answer will determine both our futures. Why? thing and that's what I would say in real life. What? I was in love with you even before I ever played your depression. So preferred to even realize it's more than just friendship. So his face becomes a paper and he buries her face on the chest again. This time she doesn't cry. Too shocked. Either that, or she'll finally use up all her reserves of tears. I think I understand it now. The reason why I joined the literature club was because you asked me to. So I wanted to be with you. Spend time with you. Thank you. Down, I was hoping for a chance to become more than your friend. I, I can't. Please don't push me away. Don't break up with me just because some assholes told you to do so. others deserve to know too. What do you mean? Can't keep hiding the truth from them. Even if some jerks will think less of you for that, so what? Those who love you will still care about you. Perhaps even more so than before.
help me. No. That was before I realized I could just have the courage to keep going. without realizing on cheap escapes. I want to live. Voice becomes more confident and powerful, just like she is when she reads her poems. I want to live! I want to live! And I want the sun to come out for once. Want to stay alive, to be by your side, so we can both find happiness. We can find happiness together. Sorry, I'll take the rope from her. She wants to burn with me, huh? Let's burn together. It symbolizes the end of how things were before, the start of a new life. Life together as a couple. I said, seats for a moment before I smile keeps on the water face. Yes, I'd love to bring it with you, Bob and Mom. We enter the backyard and pull the rope after us together. Heavy, but our combined strength lets us heave it up for a Zara walks up to it and ties it to rotate the switch and turn it on. Tries to rotate the switch and turn it on. However, she seems to hesitate on the last minute. I notice her hands are shaking. Just by instinct, I walk up to her, take hold of the right hand. Nods back and a smile creeps up on her face. We then both grab the wheel and turn our, with our free hands and turn the power up to maximum at the same time. We then take a step back and watch. Without warning, Sarah slumps into the ground clearly exhausted. I... I did it. No. We did it. We were confused for looking slightly of our gaze. <laughs> we did it! I... I still have the voices in my head. I told him to shut up. They did. It's all thanks to you. When you held my hand, I felt like I could do anything in the world. I felt the same. Uh, <laughs> I felt the same way. I think this is what they mean by the power of love. In any case, I'm so happy now. We're about to lean in for a kiss with a loud crackling noise causes us both to jump and look at the grill. Wow. It's beautiful. Stand up and watch the rope slowly burn away, turning into a massive bonfire. For a while, it looks like the flames are dancing. I want to think of this as a sign. Maybe the rain clouds will disappear now. I don't think they'll go away immediately. But this is a first step. And as long as we're together, we can do this. I agree. We can 
continue to watch the flames dancing on the grill until the sun sets. Neither of us says a word, but we hug and cuddle. Both to keep warm because both of us want to feel close, feel the other close to them. As long as when the flames die down, the rope turns to ash that I realize that from now on things will never be the same. Just as I walk up to scoop the ashes of the rope, a strong wind blows and the ashes are blown away, carried by the wind. It's over. I walk back to her and try to kiss her, but it's my surprise she stops me. I'm not sure if I should. I have so many things and feelings thoughts and feelings surging through me right now. Oh. Hey, wait. I forgot about this. I leave through my pocket and take out the flyer that hit me earlier. Oh, that looks fine. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe it'd help. Just both relax. It was needlessly tense, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I promise I'll change and become better for your sake. No. No. Not for your sake. I love you. But I'm not sure if I ever if I love myself. But if I don't love myself, how can I get uh, comfortable being in a relationship with you? She scans me with her eyes as we walk back to her house. Bye, the mob, can we just act like nothing ever happened for the next few hours? I just wanted to give my brain some time to process what happened. Of course, take all the time you need. Do you want me to leave as well? No, I want you to stay right here with me. Uh-huh. Make sure the relationship. I want to make the relationship official. I think my brain needs some more time to get used to thinking you as my boyfriend. So I'd like to have one last evening where we're just friends, and then. After that, I want to ask you out. Just like I always wanted to when we were younger. Okay. I like that idea. <laughs> You're the best. Alright, just wait here for a bit. I'm going to make you dirty tonight. Don't burn the house down like I nearly did that one time. Don't worry, I won't. I've been practicing. With that, she takes off into the kitchen. The vibrant energy, the outburst of positivity. This is the sailor I used to know. No, I still know her. Deep down, I know this is a true personality. Even if I'm wrong and her personality is just is the depressed girl, I still love her regardless. I never once let her go. Not now, not ever. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this particular chapter. 
you dig what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I will sub back very well, ladies and gentlemen.